بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم سو وی آر ایٹ لیکچر نمبر ٹین پارٹ ون آف دا ان پٹ ڈیوائسز ٹاپک سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو وٹ ایور وی لیفٹ ان دا پریویس لیکچر ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ان پٹ ڈیوائسز سو دیر از اے گریٹ ویرائٹی آف ان پٹ ڈیوائسز دیٹ یو فیس ان یور ڈیلی لائف today we are going to uh, explore some more input devices and i mean uh, it, you will be uh, surprised that there are so many so many different types of um, softwares or input devices that we use um, in our daily life so with that let us see the objectives of today's lecture so previously we define what is input we define like uh, list the characteristics of uh, the input device and we also like uh, describe different mouse types uh, summarize how pointing devices works then we discussed voice recognition systems we discussed different types of mobile users and how digital camera works we describes the use of pc video cameras webcams and video conferencing uh, techniques so these topics all these topics were discussed in the previous lecture so today we are going to discuss various scanners and reading devices and how they works explain the types of terminal and the purpose of their card readers and we are going to study uh, the various biometric devices because we see we uh, experience them uh, in our daily life uh, in the last inshallah we are going to identify alternative input device for physically challenged user so with that let us formally start our lecture so what is a scanner <clears throat> scanner normally used is a light sensing device that reads printed text and graphics so used for image processing and it is used to convert paper documents into electronic images so we have flat bit scanners we have a pen or handheld sc- uh, scanners we have sheet feed scanners we have d- drum scanners so there are a variety of different um, scanners uh, available in the market that you can use even uh, like uh, this is like a type of a scanner pen or handheld scanner that uh, like uh, people just uh, scan or they just hover it over the printed document and then the text is scanned and is processed by a computer system so with that uh let us uh, continue and let us see how the scanner works so uh, for simplicity we are just going to discuss how does a flat bit scanner work so this is an example of a flat bit scanner uh, we uh, insert or we place a document inside it and then it, it scans that documents and then the document is converted into a digital form where it is further processed by a computer system so let us see this process in a step by step fashion so in step number 1 one, uh, one a document to be scanned is placed face down on the glass window so this uh, you can see this step number 1 and then in step number 2 in uh, step number 2 we uh, uh, a bright light moves underneath this scanned document so you can see that a light uh, a bright light moves or it is reflected upon this underneath the uh, surface of the document in step number 3 image of the document is reflected into a series of mirror so uh, we get the image into a series of mirror and then in step number 4 light is converted to analog electrical current that is converted further into digital signals by an analog to digital converter so with that Uh, like we, uh, we we are able to or the scanner are able to convert the digital signals digital electrical signal into uh, the analog electrical signals into the digital uh, signals by using adc analog to digital converter so then in step number 5 digital information is sent to the memory in the computer to be used by illustration desktop publishing or other software or it is stored on the disk in step number 6 user can print image it can email that image include it in a document or place it on a web page so then it's up to you how to how you use it but this is uh, at a very abstract level we have now discussed that how an image is scanned 
and is converted into analog electrical signal and then those uh, signals are further converted into digital forms and then they are further placed inside memory or they are transferred to, to the computer processor for further processing. So with that let us move on. There is another type of input device called optical reader device that uses light sources to read characters, marks or codes and then convert them into digital data. So optical character uh, optical character recognition reads character in OCR font. Optical mark recognition reads hand drawn pencil marks such as small circle uh, and so you can like uh, in a very simple way optical character uh, recognition can read uh, characters that are printed on uh, on the um, uh, on the paper or on your document and optical mark recognition reads hand uh, drawn pencil marks such as small circle uh, or etc we also have a barcode reader so all these are the type of optical readers let me repeat optical character recognition reads character in OCR font optical mark recognition reads hand drawn pencil marks such as small circle and then we have a special type of optical character readers called barcode scanners and then we uh, have a special type of document called turn around document uh, document that you returns to a company that it sends it so this is a type or an example of turn around document portion you return has information printed in OCR character so now these characters can be scanned or they can be read by the OCR characters. So here you can see OCR characters indicate the amount due and the account number whereas this information this portion is returned with the payment. So this this particular area let me uh, show it to you by using the highlighter this particular area is directly read by the optical character reader and I mean um, you save a lot of time and energies and the data is further processed by a computer uh, system then we have uh, like commonly you people have seen this device in your daily life we have a barcode scanner uses laser beams to read barcodes so these are examples of barcodes normally you see them in the utility stores or uh, in uh, large super stores so these are another example of barcodes like they are uh, a light beam or a laser beam is uh, uh, um, is uh, like reflected upon them and then the data is further uh, read out and then uh, uh, it, the input signal goes inside the computer system for further processing so these bars have special meanings there are different types of barcodes so what is a barcode I mean um, uh, <clears throat> so identification code that consists of cert, uh, set of vertical lines and spaces of different width so this is an example of barcode uh, you, you, um, uh, normally a universal product code UPC code is printed that will tell you the uh, the price of or the other attributes of an item that you want to sort so this is an example of barcode here we have number system characters identify the type of product manufacturer identification number uh, in this case we have a codec so it uh, identifies the manufacturers of this um, item and then we have uh, item number like a box of four rolls of films and then uh, <clears throat> this uh, these barcode represents check characters verifies accuracy of scan up uh, upc symbol so this is used for uh, scanning and verification and author authentication of your barcode okay with that um, uh, we move on what are some widely used bar uh, used barcodes so we have code bars code 39 European article numbering we have interleaved um, barcodes postnet postnet numeric encoding techniques and then universal barcode so all of them have special meaning all of them are used widely throughout the world universally um, you can use them uh, like you can see them even you can download them from the internet and you can then further process them uh, use them in your own um, business or in your own um, in the shop uh, and then um, uh, like it uh, it will uh, provide a lot of benefit for to you people all right so we have another type of uh, uh, input device which is called magnetic ink 
character recognition reader m i c r it can read text printed with magnetic ink so this is a check somebody has written um, this uh, check and this is a, a human written text so this magnetic ink character reader has the cap capacity or uh, ability to read this text so this is amazing so um, can read text printed with magnetic ink bank industry almost exclusively use micr for checks processing so here you can see this is a bank number account number check number and check amount so further this device also save a lot of energy and a lot of uh, time uh, for the bank employee and then we have uh, different types of data collection device they obtain data directly at location where transaction or even takes place for uh, for example this is a data collection device you can directly scan the barcodes and the data is uh, transferred to this device and you can then further process uh, the data transmit data over network or the internet and uh, we have now a latest qr codes quick response code system um, that were invent invented back in 1994 by denso waves uh, its purpose was to track vehicle during manufactures. Um, it is designed to allow high-speed component scanning aim at mobile phone user. Uh, uh, we uh, normally also uh, like uh, use it for mobile tagging, etc. But you have seen this thing uh, in a lot of like uh, on the internet or on a lot of uh, uh, companies and in a lot of organizations. So the purpose is to identify a particular uh, item or a person or a mobile phone or an even a mobile phone application and then we have point of sale terminal uh, commonly uh, usually we see them in uh, large super stores in utility stores they records purchases process credits and debit cards and update inventory you can swipe uh, credit or debit card through the card reader reads customer personal data from the magnetic strip so this is uh, like an example of point of sale terminal usually the utility store and canteen store departments and other type of super store use them in order to uh, uh, process a lot of transaction in uh, uh, in small amount of time and then uh, you have uh, witnessed and experienced this commonly used device called automatic teller machine atm self-service bank machine that connects to host computer through the network so we have then an atm card and you insert that card into the atm reader your data is then read and you input the your pin number and the amount to be transferred or to be uh, debited and then uh, uh, the further uh, further uh, processing is done by the computer system and like you do not have to uh, like put yourself in a queue in order to a withdraw cash etc and then we have a smart uh, wireless display thin monitors that detach from computer to function as portable wireless touch screen so we uh, you can see that we have uh, this wireless uh, monitor okay let me check out the time i think uh, we are also running out of time yes uh, i'll see you in, inshallah in the next structure till then allah